In the previous lecture, we have seen how to set an array of strings as the source for our text box. So, in this lecture, we will see how to set an array of objects as the source of a text. When you set an array of objects, you need to specify label as well as value. So, when you enter a character or group of characters in your text box, the values that you specify as the label will be displayed and the values that you set as value will be selected. So, to make it clear, suppose you want to display a set of countries in the list and when you select a country, its corresponding currency should be displayed in the text box. Suppose that is your requirement. So, in that case, you can set the source as an array of objects where you can set the value of label as country name and the value of value as currency name. So, let's see that. Let's create for these same countries. Okay, you could find list of currencies at this site. There are many other sites as well that provide countries and their corresponding currencies. So, let's see for Angola, it is Angolan Quansa. So, let me copy this. Okay. And here, I am going to change this to currency. Okay. And let me put this within curly braces. And this needs to be our label. Sorry, it is EL. Label is the value that we want to display in the list. So, we want to display the names of countries in the list. And the next keyword is value and we have to specify Angolan Kwanza. Next, let us check it for Cambodia. So, let me copy this and check it here. It is Cambodian real. So, let me copy this here. Put this within curly braces. This is now label. Put a comma to separate different key value pairs. This is actually JavaScript objects. Okay. So, like this we need to make for all the currencies. Okay. Now, I have added labels and values for all the countries. Okay. Now, the name of the source is currency. We have changed it. So, instead of country, I need to put currency. Okay. And save. Here, refresh. Let me enter A. The values we will be getting will be same because these are the list of countries. Now, let me select Nepal. See, we are not getting Nepal here. It is Nepalese rupee. That is the country's currency. Suppose I enter J. No country. K. Kuwait and United Kingdom. Let me click United Kingdom. It's pound sterling. So, like this, you can display a set of values and for each value, you can have some other value be displayed using label value options. So, in this lecture, we have seen how to use an array of objects as a source for our autocomplete widget. This will be more useful if you are doing some currency conversion and all. In that case, you can display the currencies in the list and their corresponding code can be displayed in the text box. For example, for dollar, the currency code is USD. For Indian rupee, it is INR. So, to convert the currencies, we will be requiring the currency codes, whereas users might not be that familiar with the codes. So, you can display the actual currency name in the list by setting the labels and the corresponding codes can be displayed once a user selects a currency. So, this is how you can set an array of objects as the source of your autocomplete widget.